so this is us going off on our first adventure after my meningitis yuck we decided to do some training with the RYA to complete our competent crew and day skipper courses we did the theories at home and online and then we just had to do the practical first off we drove eight hours or more to Penzance and took the kids over to a mum's she lives on the Isles of Scilly so we took the Salonian I was super sad to leave the children but very excited to learn to sail. We drove back to Falmouth and so here we are off sailing with our brilliant instructor Simon. Captain Simon, Jack Sparrow, hi. Think I'm funny? No. I think I'm funny. <laughs> You're <They're> hilarious. <laughs> Going into prison. Down the companion way. Spring lines. If you're ever going to do RYA training, definitely go with Simon. He really was amazing. Check him out on Instagram, Change of Tack. We used Andy RYA training in Falmouth. Super helpful and made everything easy peasy to sort out. We sat on a couple of Beneteau 35s called Tigger 2 and Louise. Tigger 2 was pretty speedy. And after lots of training, we sailed across to the Sillies. In a full seven actually, it was totally exhilarating and we saw dolphins several times, which was brilliant. We had a couple of lads training with us called Josh and Joss and they were great. We really loved them to bits. We all had so much fun. It wasn't like training at all. And it was more like an amazing venture holiday. We learnt so much in those few days. Ropes, helming, tacking, jibing, manoeuvring, docking, man overboard, and so, so much more. We saw some beautiful places, sunsets and sunrises. We learnt the ropes of sailing, literally. And definitely learnt how not to accidentally jibe after we all managed to do it. We were Thanks, sad, Rose. really sad, for the week to come to a close, but definitely needed the break, I think, to recover. And we were pretty tired. We said all our goodbyes to Josh and Joss and we promised to keep in touch, which we really have because they're an ace couple of guys.
In this first week, we learnt to sit back and relax, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the sailing, and really start to learn to become one with the boat and ocean and weather. It's amazing how sheltered you are and how little you know until you get out there and really do it. And we loved it, thank God, because I'd already put an offer in on a boat. So here we are, relaxing, enjoying. Awesome. We've just seen a dolphin. That's crazy. Will he come back? Oh yeah, there he is. Did you see him? He just come up there. I don't know if I'm a very good attempt at videoing that. I did a little bit. Maybe it is. Yeah. It's quite small. What, what sort of um, dolphin's that? Do we know? Porpoise. Oh, you said didn't you before you saw see them? I'm trying to video him, but I don't think you get the magnitude. little weekend off we stayed in a pretty cool little flat in Falmouth with Airbnb Falmouth is a beautiful little seaside town. 
We thoroughly enjoyed our weekend's rest, eating yummy food in the lovely local restaurants and wandering the quaint little streets and shops and even visiting local beaches where we could chill out and enjoy the scenery. We shopped in some little shops, found the kids some little treats and some little presents and thoroughly enjoyed our weekend's rest. We were soon back to it and our second week of training this was a little more serious and we got to practice a lot of the navigational skills we'd learnt during the theory. We also practiced being skipper and got a far better understanding of the responsibility you have for the boat, crew and overall well-being of everybody on board. The weather wasn't great but we set off to Plymouth and actually sailed to Fowey. loads of practice with planning routes, manoeuvring, man over ball, drills, m you name it, safety checks and we explored some great places. We saw chain ferries and some really big ships up close. It was pretty good and it was really enjoyable. The sail back was tough, cold, wet and windy and in the wrong direction so we got lots of practice tacking. Although, believe it or not, I managed to meditate in the cockpit for a while, taking in all the sounds and movements of the yacht and the sea around me, yeah. feeling a little bit more at one with nature. And of course, we oh, saw I more dolphins. Yay! Yeah, baby! Oh, you're bigger, you're Oh, and my finger then. All gone. All gone. All gone. All gone now. Oh, how beautiful are they? We had a nice bunch of men training with us and we were all really happy to complete our course. We received our day skipper licences and that meant what we could also send off for our ICC licence, which we need to travel abroad with and to France. I also later completed my RYA radio course for my VHF radio licence.
We were meant to travel straight back to Azazili when we'd finished, but the bad weather delayed our flight until the next day, which was a bleeding great excuse to stay in a very lush hotel in Penzance. I had a huge bubble bath and soaked all my aches and pains away. <laughs> it was lovely. Then we spent a really enjoyable evening. We had a gorgeous meal in the Black's restaurant in Penzance, which is owned by our instructor Simon and his wife. That was really lovely. And then the next morning, we flew out to the city, which was fab, in a little plane called the BN2 Islander. It can only take eight passengers and one pilot, and you literally can have a sit and chat with him the whole time. It's pretty fun. When we arrived, the kids were super excited to see us and loved their gifts and presents and their SpongeBob t-shirts we bought them. It was pretty good, all round great experience for all of us. The next episode, you'll get to meet our new Cataran, which we already put an offer on, and see how the renovations go. Thanks guys so much for watching. Follow us at sailingpeoplefamily.com.